Shani Bonse. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tumby Fletcher for two first time here and I make eclectic, eclectic videos. <laughs> anyway, today I am going to be doing a bathroom transformation video with you and I'm going to be transforming our renter or rental bathroom. Not, we don't rent it out, but we rent our space. So basically I'm going to be transforming our bathroom and I'm also going to be sharing some tips and tricks on how you can make your bathroom look extremely luxurious, especially when you're not allowed to change any fixtures or finishes or even do any painting to your space, but you still want it to feel like Kelly Wurstler <laughs> touched your space, came and designed your space for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, okay, let me take you into our bathroom, that bulb. <laughs> just went out. I need to go buy a new one for it, but that's not the focus. The focus is really designing the space. So what I did is I actually um, took everything out of the space and just gave it a deep clean, well, ex with the exception of the stuff on the counter, that's all clean stuff that I'm going to be styling with. But I just kind of left it blank so that that way you can fully see the transformation. Can you hear that? Um, it's not an echo, but you can tell that there's nothing in here. There's absolutely nothing. It feels like we just moved in. And so this is what it looks like. This is where our shower and tub are. We've got the shower curtain over there. It's just like a clear one and I'm going to show you how to upgrade that. Okay, and then we've got our bath wash and the kids toys in there, bath toys shampoo and conditioner, and some body scrub. This wall is bare. Um, the top is where I just left those vases. I'm going to switch them out. Um, basically put the smaller one in front to switch up the scale. So that way that will look better. And yeah, so basically this is what it looks like. And so I'm going to start by styling this space and I think I'm going to start with what should I start with I think let's start with the tub because this is probably going to make one of the biggest differences when it comes to making your space feel a lot more luxurious so let me show you what I have in mind I'm so sorry about the glare behind me there's lighting so you're going to be seeing that just for now yeah but first and foremost for the shower curtain I'm going to think outside the box this is definitely not new to the internet but it's very effective in making your space look a lot more expensive because it just brings in that luxurious vibe in your space and that is using regular curtain panels instead of shower curtains now i've had these for a couple of years a really really long time i got these from ross and it's a set of two two curtain panels and they've got these paisley on them they're just this really pretty um cream and ivory color and it's quite neutral so it's not going to be you know it's not going to be bold but it's definitely going to make a huge statement. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to hang these up with some, with just a really cheap curtain rod. Yeah, and this is the 48 to 86 inches. And I got this for like two bucks, maybe $3 at Walmart or Big Lots, can't remember, but you find these almost anywhere. They're just really basic. But what I like about them is that they curve on the ends and that's exactly what I need for um, in my bathroom because we've got a certain part of the wall section kind of like, kind of, it's almost like a niche. And so it's going to work really, really well. So let me show you what that looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and put these up. So you can see this niche over here. I actually love the fact that it comes all the way out because I don't want these curtain panels or these, I don't, because I don't want my curtains to get moldy. 
and so it's going to give us quite a bit of space between the actual plastic shower curtain and the curtains that I'm going to put up and so that way they, I don't have to wash them constantly which I love. So I'm going to be installing them like right here almost like almost all the way out to over there and I'll let you see how that turns out. I think it's going to turn out really, really good. So let me just mark it right quick. Ooh, make sure I don't have, that's the problem. I do have a me I do have measuring tape, but I don't like using measuring tape sometimes, a lot of the times, because it's just a lot more tedious. But if you have measuring tape in your space at home, make sure you use that. For me, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Okay, now, actually, I need to see just how tall these panels are going to be before I mark this out, because I don't want to end up putting this up and then the curtain panels are super short and they end up looking horrible. So, let me see if I need to, if I need to make it lower. I think they're quite long, but they might not be as long as I think they are, so. Let's see. Okay, so if I want them to like touch, kiss the floor, then they're going to have to be here. Okay, so they're not as long as I would have wanted them to be, but they're still going to cover quite a bit. So that's going to be interesting. I might have to do something that's the thing, I never measured this out to see, but this can, it's an easy fix. I mean, I can always get new ones later on, get something a little bit longer, but for now, I think these are going to work. So let me mark these down. Let's just do that. Okay, just make like a little dot, and then I'll go ahead and put them up. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I hope these don't give me a headache. I'm trying to install them. Oh boy. We already have an issue. They're not sitting on there straight. <sighs> okay, it is finally fixed. It was just like a minor issue needed to I was actually supposed to put the rod on the hooks first and then put it in the wall, but I did it the <laughs> I did it differently. Like I did the opposite, and that's why it was giving me such a hard time. But look at how they look so far. And one thing for sure is they're in the wall, they're in there, but knowing how just knowing how um aggressive my family can be, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it gather to even give it just like more, more of that luxury, luxurious feel. I'm going to leave it like partly open because I'm going to be putting a table down here for the shower, so I think that will make it look even better. But take a look at that. It looks so good, you guys. Let me show On the floor, I'm going to be putting this stone bath mat. I've actually had this for about a year now, almost a year. I worked with the brand. They're called Citera and they make stone bath mats and these are multi-purpose mats. So they're quick drying. I mean, you can, when you step right out of the shower and step on it, the water, it just soaks up the water and it's a better alternative to um, fabric. Um, rugs because of fabric mats because it doesn't get moldy it doesn't get extremely dirty it's very easy to wash it's quick dry drying and it's just really really good to be honest with you when I was working with them I was a little skeptical because I was like who wants to use a stone bath mat 
I mean, you can use it as a dish mat as well if you want. If you don't want to use it as a bath mat, you can use it as a dish mat. Um, you can also use it to um, hold your flower pots as well, but I got it, you know, specifically the campaign was about using it as a bath mat, and so I decided to keep it as that, to keep it for that, and I absolutely love it. I've never ever thought about replacing it um, ever since I started using it because it's that good, and so this is what I'm going to be putting right outside the shower. And this definitely gives you that spa feel, you know, that luxury, relaxation. It's just, you know, all those spa vibes that you look for in like a spa hotel. Next, I have this cute little wrought iron table that I thrifted. It was only $3 and I absolutely love it. I'm going to put it right outside the tub and I'm going to style it for you later on um, with some spa items. But for now, let me just put this down and style like the major things and then we're going to do, you know, add some finishing touches with little details later on. So this is going down here. Something else that I want to add in this corner, actually you can't hear that um, like vacuum sound anymore because I've added the curtains. It's just starting to come together so well. So anyway, <laughs> that's besides the point. Something else that I want to add to this wall is art. And one thing I will say is art makes a huge difference when it comes to making or breaking your space. I for one would recommend that you don't use the typical bathroom um, art or decor because it just comes off really cheap and generic. And so instead of using stuff like words that say bath on them or uh, a bathtub, picture of a bathtub, you could go for something beautiful, vintage or contemporary art. And this one is huge. I got this from um, the Salvation Army. Just look at how big that is. <laughs> I got this from the Salvation Army about two or three years ago and it was only like six or seven bucks or maybe eight but it was under ten dollars and it is vintage art very very beautiful it reminds me of Greece I think it's uh, it's got like the Greece Grecian um, architecture there and so this is what I'm going to be putting on this wall because it's just going to make a statement good and voila and now you can see just how beautiful it looks in the bathroom it's making this space look 10 times more expensive already and especially because I know that I can't change the wood like I can't paint the wood cabinets the cabinetry or paint the walls this is definitely giving um, the illusion of great architecture, <laughs> like great design, and yet nothing, I'm not changing anything else like in this space, like anything that's already in here. And now let me just go up here and switch these two out because they are, they don't look off, but I'd like them to switch position. To change position because oh a mosquito go away yeah it's mosquito season everybody so make sure you have repellent on hand and try to keep your place your homes like free of water and stuff like that just like water sitting around then we have it we have I've switched them out the smaller one is in front I think that looks so much better. And I've just got dry branches in both of them. They're quite different. This one has like feathers on it. It's all just natural stuff. But just adding stuff like dry branches as well as um, things like florals is definitely going to make your space, your bathroom look a lot more expensive. So I'm loving that. And now let's move on to 
the sink area because I think this section is done for now. Okay, so over here in the sink section, I want to keep things somewhat minimal. And so I decided to use this beautiful marble tray by a brand called Global Marketplace. This was made in India. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just wiped it off so it has that, you know, it looks wet, but yeah. So it's a beautiful marble and I love the little um, feet on it as well. I'm just going to put all my, not catch all, but the things that I use regularly on here. Okay, so here's my little vignette of all the things that I regularly use. I've got my perfume on there, my night, night cream, my coffee scrub, uh, and my makeup brushes as well as my husband's beard brush. So even though there's a lot on there, it still looks organized and sophisticated because it's just not lying everywhere on the counter. So that gives me room to work with more space. And so right next to it, I'm just going to add this little, um, this little box. It's a porcelain box or ceramic box. And I just put stuff like all toothpicks in there. So that way they're concealed. And that's just going to be sit right here. So perfect. And then that leaves room for me to put our um, hand soap on the other side as well as just a simple vase and that's basically it on here. I'm going to be using this beautiful ceramic vase for this little section and I'm just going to add some dried grass in there and then we're also going to have the hand soap right here or maybe I could put the hand soap right here. Let's see. I usually put it on this side, which is fine, so I could move that a little bit to the side. But I want the kids to be able to reach it, so here's fine. Now, you can put um, plants in your bathroom if you have windows. But because we don't have that luxury, I decided to opt for the next best thing, and that is by using things like dried branches and grass or florals. So I think they make a really huge difference and they look just as luxurious. And yeah, the space is really starting to come together and I can't wait to just finish it off and give you a quick tour or a complete tour of all the changes that I've made to this space so far. Now, another thing that can definitely upgrade your space is lighting. We already have enough lighting in here, so I'm not trying to include any more. I, I wish I could use maybe like a table lamp, a small table lamp, because it would definitely look a lot better than the overhead lighting, but I've got some solutions for that as well. Um, and also, I kind of feel like we don't necessarily need any extra lighting because it's pretty, it's bright enough in here. And so, and we also don't have any um, wiring like on the walls for sconces. But just to give the illusion of us having like extra lighting and just giving it that hotel, like boutique hotel feel, I'm going to be using this uh, pretty. I don't know if this is a candlestick. I actually think it's for old, old lighting back in the day. So this is what it looks like. It's very, very pretty. I'm just going to mount this up on this wall and I'm going to put this little uh, lampshade on and it's just going to give the space a little extra pizzazz. So let me do that right quick. Okay, and voila. And the good thing about this uh, trick is that when we move, all I have to do is just add filler to the holes and it'll be as good as new. I'll sand it down and paint over it 
and it'll be as good as new. And so now let me insert this little pretty lampshade. Hopefully it's going to fit perfectly. All right, perfect. And now we have a beautiful lampshade and on a sconce, on a wall sconce, and it looks amazing even though it doesn't light up. Now, um, one thing I will do is add some, add a towel, hand towel to this because you definitely need towels in your space. And I have this beautiful one from, I'm going to be using this beautiful hand towel that I got from Dirt Cheap, but I think it came from Target. It's called, yeah, it's by the brand Threshold by Target. And it's got these tassels at the bottom. It looks really, really luxurious. And I'm just going to put that here. It's all coming together, everyone. We're actually almost done. I think that looks lovely. For my trash can, I have this resin um, trash can that I got several years ago. Um, well, not several, but probably like eight years ago and it's been holding strong. It's very beautiful. I'm just going to put this one by the toilet, right next to the toilet. And then for my basket, I've got this thrifted uh, wicker basket. Really, really love these. They look ultra luxurious. And this is going to go on top of my cistern. And I'm just going to add different things in there so you can put like extra tissue, toilet paper in there, as well as stuff like incense and um, like an incense holder and maybe even a vase. Okay, so now I want to put some hooks up for my towels because I don't want to use the towel rod that's in the space. I feel like it doesn't get them dry as quickly because you kind of have to like push them together and they just, you know, they don't get as dry quickly. So I got these little hooks, they're actually coat hooks from Walmart, and these were only like $2.84, so very, very cheap, very affordable, and I'm going to be putting two of these up here so that they can hang up to four towels, towels, and yeah, this is definitely going to be definitely a really easy hack. Not only is it functional, but it's pretty as well, because I don't like hanging up my towels like, you know, the traditional way. Now the really sleek or aesthetic way is to hang them up like on a hook so that they just kind of like fall, like drape over the hook. <laughs> for them if it's too high for them. I don't know if you can see that. There's a glare from the... Can you see that? Not yet. There's a glare from the light, lighting in here. Perfect. Perfect. I got these towels from Big Lots. This one is 100% cotton performance bath towel. And it's Oikotex. It's Broy Hill. I think this brand works with Big Lots. And these towels are really affordable. I should have shown them to you in the shop with me. Yeah, they're super affordable, but they look really, really luxurious. This is what it looks like. It is ribbed, and I just love that. So pretty, I'm gonna put that right here. Put it like so. Hang it on, let it fall. And then the, I wanted to try out this one as well. This one, well, this one was $6.99, and this one was $4.99, I think, either $4.99 or $3.99. And it's by Real Live Living, and this is 100% cotton as well, but it doesn't have like any pattern on it. So these will be great to buy like tons of for everyday use. And then obviously on your spa, spa days and nights, <laughs> you can use the ribbed ones if you want to do that. But they're both really affordable. So I think I'm going to get more of these there when we go there. And this one is on the other side. And voila, you see just how luxurious it looks? 
all I really needed to do was to, let me put it here. It's, they're hanging so well and they've really just kind of really vamped up this place. They've, they've definitely upgraded this space. I need to style this table for you and I'm going to show you how I'm going to bring in that spa vibe in here. So I have this basket, little um, woven basket that I thrifted, love it, love, love, love it. This is going to go over here, give it a little bit more depth or give it a little, little bit more volume. I like the fact that it's rattan, so it definitely gives you that those spa vibes. So I've got that on here and then to, I'm going to add this little tray on there. I think this is so cool. It's a collection of my um, amber glasses. I've been collecting these because I wanted to use them in my bathrooms. So I thrifted everything that you see here. I think I'm going to put those here like, maybe like so at an angle. And the good thing about these is I can use them for different things. I can add bubble bath, cotton swabs. I think that's what I'm going to put in here. I'm going to put some cotton swabs in there. And then I'm probably just going to put some bubble bath in here. And I'm going to be pouring this out. Even though this is pretty and all, it's plastic. And so it doesn't really look that expensive. It just gives the illusion of it being, you know, luxe, but it really isn't. So might as well pour this in here to give it more of that luxurious feel. And it doesn't need to be covered. I know the kids definitely don't mess with this, so they won't know. Like so. Let's see if I can add this as a lid. No, it's too big. Yeah, beautiful. And then, what else do I have to add here? I have this little beautiful um, wooden bowl. It's kind of like in the shape of a leaf. I'm not sure what shape that is. It's kind of like a leaf. And I'm just going to add some bath bombs to this. Just put it right here, like so. And I'm going to add these pretty bath bombs that my husband got for me for my birthday. I think it was either my birthday or Mother's Day. But I think these look so pretty. We're just going to make it look even more pretty. Oh, it's sticky. Next, I'm just going to add this beautiful vase that I thrifted, glass vase. And I'm going to add, pick some florals from outside, but I'll do that later. I'll show that to you. You see those in the final reveal. And then, uh, where is that? Where did I put that? Oh, here it is. And then I wanted to put this aromatherapy book right here in the back because I think it would be a good read, you know, when you're trying to make some bath oils and stuff like that. This would be really nice. And that's basically it over here. So definitely giving spa vibes. And I love it so much, I can't wait to take a bath. Okay, it's time for me to work on a DIY for you. And I'm thinking about concealing the overhead lighting in the bathroom. Uh, because I just don't like the fact that it's so simple and doesn't really bring add much character to the space and so I've been wanting to do a DIY with a lampshade this is a thrifted lampshade I've had it for a couple of years now and my daughter actually drew this chicken on there she's such an artist so cute I wish she had done drawings all over it I would have definitely just kept it as is but I'm going to cover it for now which you know is fine I'm just going to be using hot glue to cover it so that way whenever we're done with it when I need to take it down I can always take the cover off and she can do some more artwork on this one definitely you want to keep things simple because I know that there's no way for me to mount this up to the ceiling as is so that's why I 
decided to use this cardboard cardboard rather so I'm basically just going to cut up a few pieces like a few strips of it and I'm going to basically glue it on here and on there and then we'll stick it to the ceiling so hopefully that will work and it doesn't need to be extremely thick because the cardboard itself is quite thick so hopefully this works this is my my course of action this is my plan I'm hoping that it works so basically yeah that's long enough so all of them are going to be this long so I've basically got four strips and I'm thinking that gluing them on the sides of of this lampshade is going to help them hold um, it's going to help them stick to the ceiling better like hold to the ceiling better so just add a little bit of well a lot of hot glue because I don't know how it's going to end up sticking let's wait for that to dry a generous amount because I do not want it to come off easily even though the lamp itself isn't heavy I just need to make sure that it holds okay so that is done and it's very very easy so now that this part is done, I'm just going to work on making it look pretty this time. Just wrap it around. I don't want to waste it, so let me maybe start this way. So that way we have a little bit more to work with. Let's see. Perfect. Actually, that's a lot easier than I expected. And then I'm just going to go around. Okay, because of the way that this lamp base or lamp 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 shade, sorry, <laughs> is shaped, it's not easy to wrap this around. So I'm basically having to I had to cut it in strips so that that way it's a lot easier for me to put it on and that way it can lay flat. So it's going to be interesting. It's kind of going to be like a, it's going to, it's just going to be interesting all the way around. So you won't be able to see it because it's black, which is good. Like you won't necessarily be able to see it, but then I'm also going to conceal it with these uh, little wooden things as well. So I think that will turn out just fine. So let me get this done as quickly as I can. I think this is going to be a lot easier for me to to tackle. Okay, so I've wrapped the entire shade, lampshade. And so now I need to clean up the edges because they look so messy. So this is what's going to go up in the ceiling. I'm going to keep it simple. It's not going to be, you know, perfect in a sense, but I definitely do want it to feel like, you know, work was put in. Effort was put into this, into creating this. I don't want it to just look like an, ex you know, a DIY project that you get to toss away which to be honest <laughs> I don't know if this is helping at all but this stuff is all going to be concealed you're not going to be seeing any of this this is what's going up in the ceiling I just want to make sure that we don't have so many pieces just there Oops. okay so I've basically hot glued every part of it, the top and the bottom. And this is what it looks like. 
it actually doesn't look too bad. So now I'm just going to start working on my little wooden pieces. I'm trying to see what I can do with this. I might even end up using, I was considering like using a basket to work this out because this is going to be tricky and I'm basically going to have to hot glue some of these pieces while it's in the ceiling. So that's going to be very interesting. But right now, I think I'm going to start by concealing these little pieces like so. And we're just going to hot glue that. Just going to hot glue these little pieces to to the wallpaper. Okay, so here's my lampshade. This is the back of it. Excuse me, I've got a hiccup. And this is what the wood pieces look like. <laughs> it's interesting, but I think it's quite artistic. So let me just make sure it fits around. Like so. Perfect. That is perfect, actually. So I'm just going to hook it up. Let me twist it a little bit because I like these to show. These three. To show a little bit better. And so I've just got these little uh, nails that I'm going to use to nail it to the ceiling. And hopefully they don't give me a hard time. I don't know how I'm going to do that though. Because I'm trying to hold I need to use a hammer. I should have brought it up here first and foremost. This is a fairly large hammer, so I'm hoping it doesn't it's not difficult to hammer them inside. I do not want to break anything. Let's go. Oh, you need two people to do this job. Oh, the glass is hot. My arms are hurting. Oh, what's going on? The battery is low. Oh, I need to turn that off. Okay, it's a couple of hours later. My battery died. I'm sorry about that but I'm pretty much done in here, except for the lamp. I need to, well, I decided to get, um, I decided to wait until I can go thrifting so that I can find, I can look for a round basket to put at the bottom because I feel like the popsicle sticks just weren't enough and so they weren't going to hold. Um, but otherwise, it still looks pretty good. My husband thinks the popsicle, <laughs> excuse me, my husband thinks the popsicle sticks are a little taggy, but I don't care. <laughs> I think it looks good. My husband doesn't really know too much about interior design. Although, I'm wondering. I, I think it doesn't look bad. I'll let you guys <laughs> be the judge of that. But without further ado, let me show you what this video looks like. And I'm going to say goodnight right now because I need to go put the battery back on the charger. So please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so and like this video as well. And I'll see you all in the next one. So without further ado, let me show you what the bathroom looks like in three, two, one.